Well, hello again, and welcome to MrCross.org, and I've got another uh, quick tip for you for all of those that uh, love to use technology in education. One of the things I'm really, really big on is this new craze to get younger students coding and get them familiar with the coding concepts and terms, and that's why I'm even trying to build it into uh, some of the uh, tech standards that I'm trying to develop. And uh, There's a lot of great apps. There's this one called... Uh, uh, the uh, Move the Turtle, which is an app that I love, but I recently came across this one called Codable. And the thing I love about this app for use in a um, in a classroom is that this game plays like a game. It teaches basic coding skills, and it could be taught to a kindergartner because if you look at actually the game's design and how it's actually built. This game does not um, have words, so you're, you're dealing with just symbols. So you've, you've got students that maybe can't read, but they're able to understand these concepts. And believe it or not, these concepts build on each other to eventually make it to where they can code. So we can see that they're, they're telling us right now we need to drag this arrow over. And, uh, you know, I, I'm uh, understanding how this works, so I'm guessing I need to now make the guy go down because I, if I have him roll over and then he rolls down and then he rolls back over, then I would probably have him successfully complete the maze. Once I'm done, I go ahead and hit play and check this out. I have essentially built a computer program, a little mini one that actually uh, gives my character some commands and makes him makes him roll through it. So a younger student could grab onto this, probably play some of the levels, and is really getting some great content. Now, as you get into some of the higher levels, and there's a paid version, and I'm playing the free version, and there's even more fantastic stuff from this developer, um, I get all kinds of extra things. You'll see these yellow squares which tell it to do something when it comes in contact with the yellow square or stop on a yellow square. You've got the repeat function which is telling you to repeat certain motions over and over again and you can see you can drag those motions in there. Um, and you also get this, you now have functions and you can add inside of a, of a function some different code and I could even drag that into one of my repeat um, sections. So I can drag all of these different pieces. Oh, I guess I can't do that. It's not going to let me yet. Um, you can drag all of these different pieces in together, hit play, and see if you can build a, a program that will actually complete the maze. So it's a lot like Move the Turtle in some of these ways, but I think it's a fantastic app. And um, if you can get your kindergartners on this, your preschoolers on this, maybe even your, your advanced ones, um, first and second graders, um, just get them experiencing this kind of problem solving and thinking. You're going to really set them up for a, a fantastic path for the future. So I'd like you to give it a try. I think it's a fantastic app. It's called Codable. It's available in the iTunes store. Um, tell me what you think about it.